everybody, it's your mate Jess. Welcome back to your Bar Beginners series. Now, for today's class, we're gonna focus on some super simple abdominal work. It's simple, but it's still fierce. So, grab your mat, grab your chair, and most importantly, grab your poly attitude, pop it on ya, and let's do it. Give yourself a little shimmy shake, get all those nerves out of your system because we love ab curls, or at least that is what we're gonna tell ourselves today. Let's start off up against our bar. So just take one step away so your booty don't whack it. We're gonna lift the arms up to the sky, big breath in, and exhale, dive forward, so round through the spine. Once you hit the floor, you're gonna walk out into a nice plank position. Halt, and then bend your knees, walk back, restack the spine. We go again. So just finding some articulation as we lift up and then more articulation as we round forwards, hitting your plank once you stretch the legs. One more time. So we walk it back, always, always moving at your own pace and respecting where your body is at. Dive forwards and hit your plank. Once you get there, let's lift the bum nice and high to sky and take a little pedal out through your feet. Don't worry if your knees are bent. As always, you know what your body can do and is capable of. And also knowing that every day might feel a little different. So that's all cool, people. When you're ready, you're gonna take a half step in with those hands. So just a little shuffle in. From there, we're gonna drop the knees all the way to the floor, big breath in. Spread your shoulder blades as you exhale. We're gonna hover the knees just off the floor. Again, drop the knees down, inhale breath, and exhale, little hover. Two more times, drop down. Exhale, hover, feel that core start to shake. One more time, drop the knees. Hold your hover for four. For three, for two, and one. Drop knees down, last bit of articulation. You can relax the feet if you want to. Coming into a cat cow, so dropping that belly, looking forwards, and exhale, rounding through spine. Couple more. If you feel like you wanna maybe take circles around with the hips, or you wanna shift the weight back and forwards, you do you, my friend. Do what feels awesome for your body at this point in the day. Last round. And then when you're ready, just squeeze those knees together and we're gonna roll straight onto our booties and face our bar. So take your feet hip width distance apart. So just have a look down at your hips. Knees should be shooting straight forwards and feet somewhere towards your bar. And we take a roll down. You're gonna interlace your hands behind your head. Just shuffle the feet in a little if you feel like that gives you more support. And from here, we're gonna prepare to go into our ab curl. Gently pull those fingers apart, lift your elbows into your peripheral vision and exhale. Just peel the skin of your fingers off the floor. So head is hovering, head is gently pushing down into the hands and lower. Again, it's like one centimeter off the floor. So I want you to initiate the movement from the chest. Exhale the lift, inhale, drop. One more time, lift up and lower. Okay, let's go as high as you can at this point in time. Cool, so inhale to prepare. Gently press your lower back into the floor and exhale, you're gonna lead with the chest, look up and at your bar. Roll down, inhale, exhale. Keep those elbows in your periph. So when you look side to side with your eyeballs, you can just see those elbows. Keep going, take your time. There is absolutely no rush. Look at you doing your ab curl, well done. 
Now I want you to also have a look at your knees. So as you lift up into the curl, check that your knees haven't splayed to the sides. They are still shooting straight out from your hip bones. For me, my hips are actually about as wide as my bar there. So I'm, so I'm using my bar as like a little um, kind of, what would I say? like a little guide. I'm using my bar as a little guide to keep my knees at that distance. Take one more ab curl. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Well done, hope that felt good. We're gonna keep the chest on the floor for a little bit. So now you can let your elbows relax if you want to. And let's go knee lifts. So. This is almost like a reverse toe tap, and that's the next exercise we'll go into afterwards. So from this position, we're working through the legs. Take your right leg up to a floating angle here. So we've got a nice 90 degree bend in the knee. I'm gonna place the foot back on the floor. So exhale, lift the leg. Inhale to drop it down. We wanna keep the lower back and the hips nice and still as we do this, lift up, drop down. We go four, four, three. So we're starting to work the lower abdominals. Last two, last one, switch over to your left side. Exhale to lift, inhale lower. Exhale lift, inhale lower. Nice and simple, yeah? Go four. We're going to add our ab curl into this for three, for two. We're going to go back to the right side. As you lift your leg, you're going to lift up into an ab curl at the same time. Calm down. We just go for four on this side. Go three more. Lower down. Last two. Last one. Awesome work. Swap it to the left. We exhale for four. Bring it down. Don't let that lower back pop off the floor as you lower. Last two. And last one. Well done. Let's move into our proper toe taps now. So we're going to lift both legs up into this floating, what we call tabletop position. And again, we're going to keep the head, neck and shoulders down for the moment. We take that right leg. Lower somewhere towards the floor. Toes do not have to touch the mat. Lower down. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower. Keeping hips and ribs still. We go for four. Just that right leg. For three. Knee stops right on top of that hip bone. Last two. And one. Swap over to the left side for eight seven, checking in with that lower back, six, toe should be pointing just up above that bar, four, three, we're going to add, add an ab curl in a sec, last two, and one, so now we go back to that right leg, drop the toes down, exhale, lift head, neck and shoulders, modification, you can drop that left foot. Go two more. And one. Swap it over. Left uh, toes come down. Exhale to lift. Four, three. Modification, right foot on the floor. Last two. And one. Well done. Hold it up. If you've got your right foot on the floor, bring it back up. Can we go one last set here? We're going into single leg extension. So for this exercise, we're gonna keep the upper body lifted. So you're gonna stay in your ab curl. My feet are cramping like crazy. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. And so I, when I'm walking on the floor with, uh, with bare feet, she gets a little crampy. So just bear with me for a hot second. We take that right leg and we stretch it towards the bar. Cool. So see your big toe touch the edge of your bar there. Bring it in. Keep going with that right leg. Seven. 
Inhale to stretch. Exhale, bring it in. Modification. Pop that left foot on the floor. For four. Can you get your shoulder blades off the ground? Lift up a little bit higher. Last two. And one. Let's go. Left leg. Here we go. It's almost over. Bring it in. Just check that your elbows haven't covered your face. They're still in the periphery. Well done. Last four. Modification, you're here. Three. Bring it in. Last two. We're going to alternate legs. Can we get up a little bit higher in our ab curl? Just the shoulder blades to the floor. So we're working through that top range. Right leg extends. Bring it in. Left leg extends. Bring it in. If you need to, drop the head. Go three. Last two. And one, well done. Pop the feet on the floor. Just let go of that head and rock the knees side to side. Fab work. I totally felt that through the camera, that energy of yours. What a good time. We're gonna bring the legs back up into our tabletop and just hug somewhere on the shins. Bring the knees right into the chest and take a couple of rocks and rolls. And we're going to cross the ankles at the top, come straight up to standing, up at our bar, finishing with some calf raises. So, rolling those shoulders down. We're going to start to bend through the knees. You want to squeeze the ankles together. Imagine those inner thighs also squeezing together. Knees bent, soft fingers on the bar. We rise up, both heels lift. We keep Rising up, stretch the legs, and then we lower down gently to the floor. Go again, so bend the knees. Think you've got one, one leg, so these two legs are joined together. Raise the heels, lift up, lower heels. Can we go single count? So we bend, lift, stretch, lower, bend, Lift, stretch, lower. Good work. Keep those ankles squeezing together. If you feel like you're rising up on a diagonal, you might just be relying on that bar a little too much. So come back to those shoulders on top of the hips and go at your own pace. We're going two more sets if you're with me on these single counts. Can we reverse it? Can we go straight up? Bend your knees, drop your heels, stretch, lift up, bend your knees, drop your heels, stretch. Single counts, up, bend, drop, stretch, up, bend, drop, stretch. Go straight up, bend the knees, drop the heels, lift, up, bend, we go for four. Keep squeezing ankles together for three. Last two, and then we're gonna go straight up and down. Last one, drop your heels, just lift the heels, drop the heels, lift heels, drop, lift heels, drop. Bar is there to support you. Again, go straight up rather than over your bar. Do you even need it? Can you pop your hands on your hips? Whoa, squeezing everything together. Keep going for four, calves on fire. Last two, last one, hold it up if you can. If your fingers are still on the bar, can you take them to your hips? Or lift one arm high to the sky, other arm high to the sky. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Awesome work, bend through those knees. Take a little pedal out. We got one more set. This time you're gonna face forwards and we're coming into our first position. So again, we'll roll through the feet, reverse it, do our rises and then balance. You got it? Here we go. We can do it. So you can take one hand to hip or pop it underneath your pelvis in what we call bra bar. So it's a nice soft curve through the elbow. Here we go. Bar hand on the bar for support. We bend the knees, lift the heels, 
stretch the legs, lower down, nice and slow. Of course, stay at this pace if you need. Otherwise, single counts. Up, lower, bend, lift, up, drop, bend, lift, up, drop. Can we reverse it? Single counts. Bend, work that brain. Up, bend, drop, stretch. Slow it down if you need. If you need to take a second to get there for four. Keep it going for three. It's a nice slow count. Go to up, bend, drop, stretch. Last set. We're going to go straight up and down. Up, lower, up, lower. Think about rolling those heels forwards every time you rise up onto your tippy toes. Do you need the bar? Eight, seven, maybe yes. Keep going. Four, 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 three. Push down to get up. Last one, hold. Can you take your hands off the bar? Can you maybe consider raising them up to fifth position? If you're having trouble balancing here, just step in, squeeze your heels together and think about those inner thighs gluing in towards each other. Hold it for four. For three, for two, oh my gosh, and one. Take a big step out to second position. Big plie, big stretch, big plie, big stretch. Nice work, everyone. Good hustle. From here, we're going to turn and face our bar. You're just going to rise up onto the back tippy toes. And from here, take the chest forwards, lower back heel. Big breath in, exhale, bend that front knee, come back up onto your tippy toes. One more time, so we lengthen out through the front leg. Bend that front knee, and now let's see if we can just press that back heel towards the floor a couple times. Awesome, when you're ready, Let's go straight to the other side. So stepping in, stepping back, up on those tippy toes. And from there, we take the chest forwards, bend through the elbows, drop your back heel. How good does it feel to have crushed your ab curls? Hopefully good. And you balance as well. So balancing, is, uh, is not only about the legs, although the legs, I'm sure you definitely felt it, but it's nice to do that core work beforehand so that we can use our powerhouse, our core, to help us hold ourselves in our balances. Last one, bend the front knee and let's just press that back heel towards the ground. Whatever amount feels good for you. Awesome. And then the last little bit, just cross one leg over the other, turn around, holding onto the sides of your bar and opening up through your chest. Nice work. And then letting your body collapse down, grabbing onto your elbows, taking a little swing side to side, soft bend through your knees. And then when you're ready, Restacking that spine one bone at a time. Lift your arms, turn to face me, and drag those hands down to your chest, giving yourself a nod of appreciation. And as per usual, yourself a big curtsy. Thank you so much. I hope that you feel nice and strong. It was a lovely, simple um, combination that we did on the floor. Definitely, if you have a moment, in your day and you're wanting to feel that ab connection, go for that, repeat it, play this video again. And I will see you hopefully in another one soon.